Are you looking for some inexpensive ways to get your house ready to sell? Well, today I'm excited to share some insider tips on how to get your house ready for the market without breaking the bank. Whether you're a trustee, executor, or you're looking to sell your home, these strategies will help you make a great first impression and potentially speed up your sales. So let's get started. If we don't know each other yet, I'm Lisa Kwashnick, a realtor in the Sacramento area, and I teach people who have inherited real estate, how to unlock the full potential of their inherited property and maximize the value. And I love looking for ways that my clients can increase their value. From minor repairs like fixing a loose doorknob to major upgrades like remodeling the kitchen and baths, the list of home projects you could undertake in the name of preparing your home to sell probably seems endless. And if you're working with a limited budget, which most of us are, and a strict timeline, which most of us are, it's important to zero in on which fixes will give you the most bang for your buck and more important will leave the strongest impression to prospective buyers because really that's what it's all about is attracting the right buyers to your property. If you focus your energy on nine key areas that promise real value, you'll set yourself on the right path. Starting off with tip number one, which most of the time will not cost you anything. It's a smart move to consult with a real estate professional. This isn't just any step in the process. It's your ace in a hole. A good agent is more than just knowledgeable about what's hot in the local market. They're your strategic partner ready to point out the enhancements and staging moves that will make your home stand out without stretching your budget too thin. Your agent acts as a guide highlighting the updates that will resonate the most with buyers, whether it's freshening up the paint or fixing up the front of the yard or making key updates to the kitchen. They know where your money is best spent. It's not about major overhauls, but pinpointing uh, what will make potential buyers take notice and think, this is the one. And there's the magic of staging. Your agent's expertise isn't limited to just big fixes. They're full of savvy tips on how to present your home in the best light using what you have to create an inviting atmosphere that buyers can imagine themselves in. It's about making smart tweaks like rearranging furniture to improve flow or adding the right kind of lighting. Consulting with a real estate professional isn't just about getting your house ready for sale. It's about crafting a tailored strategy that highlights your home's strengths, appeals to what buyers are looking for, and maximizes your return on investment. With their expert advice, you navigate the selling process confidently, ensuring every decision is calculated to show your home at its best and attract the right buyer. Tip number two, clearing out far more belongings than you initially thought necessary is a crucial step in preparing your home for sale. This will cost you between $0 and maybe $200 a month in storage fees. The common advice to declutter isn't just a trend, it's a proven strategy that makes a significant difference. And this is the most cost-effective way to transform your home. A home filled with personal items and excessive for Furniture can appear cramped and smaller, potentially hindering buyers from envisioning their own lives in the space. Especially if you're moving because you've outgrown your current space, it might be necessary to pack away a considerable amount of your possessions. Some items can be sold, donated, or placed in a rented storage unit for a short period of time. It might not be the most convenient task, but decluttering is an affordable way to enhance your home's appeal, even if it involves the temporary cost of extra storage. I want you to embrace the mindset that your home is now entering a new phase, one that's not uh, primarily about serving your family's daily needs, but it's about showcasing its potential to new owners. This transition might feel a bit strange as if you're preparing your home for a series of blind dates with potential buyers. However, by decluttering and depersonalizing, you're not just tidying up, you're giving your home the opportunity to make a strong, positive impression. This process is about allowing buyers to easily picture themselves and their future within the walls of your home, which is a vital step in the journey towards a successful 
successful sale. Tip number three, clean out storage areas too. This tip costs zero dollars unless you enlist the help of a teenager in the neighborhood. Tackling your storage spaces is just as important as the rest of your home. Believe it or not, potential buyers are going to peek into every nook and cranny, including your garage and storage shed. The goal here is to showcase these areas as spacious and capable of meeting storage needs comfortably. A good rule of thumb is to aim for about two thirds of these spaces to be empty. This approach not only makes them appear larger, but also more inviting. Avoid leaving items on the floor and instead opt for organized solutions. You can use shelving or wall mounted uh, storage solutions and coordinating storage bins. And these can transform these areas into showcases of orderliness and efficiency. By doing this, you're not just clearing space, you're enhancing the perceived value of your home. Prospective buyers can more easily imagine their belongings fitting into those spaces, reinforcing the idea that your home could be their next home. It's a small step that can make a big difference in how spacious and accommodating your storage areas appear, making your property that much more appealing. Tip number four, bringing in a handyman for a day can make a significant difference. Depending on the amount of work that's needed, this could cost between $150 to $500 for the day. Imagine a potential buyer touring your home. Spotting one or two minor issues isn't likely going to deter them. However, if they start to notice 10 small problems, it could set off alarm bells. We don't wanna let minor repairs become major roadblocks for potential buyers. Fixing leaky faucets or tightening loose doorknobs and ensuring all lights work are small actions showing that the house has been well maintained. These fixes won't cost much but can significantly impact how the home is perceived. Compile a list of those minor repairs and touch-ups you've been meaning to get around to. Think of a dripping tap or scuffs on the wall or a squeaky door hinge. Hiring a handyman to tackle these tasks in one fell swoop can drastically streamline the process. This approach is not just about fixing things, it's about presenting your home in the best possible light. When buyers see that a home has been well maintained, it instills confidence and reduces the chances of them um, worrying about hidden issues. A single day's work can transform the overall impression of your home. Moving on to to tip number five, a fresh coat of paint. Prices for paint average about $50 a gallon. And it's astonishing how something as simple as a new paint job can breathe new life into your home, making it feel refreshed and modern at a relatively low cost. When selecting paint colors, sticking to neutral tones like beige or a soft off-white is a strategic choice. These shades are universally appealing and serve as a blank canvas, allowing potential buyers to easily envision their own furniture and decor in the space. I'd love to give you my favorite paint color, but did you know that paint changes hues depending on where you are in the hemisphere and your elevation? If you're in the Sacramento Valley, the color I'm really liking is Dun Ed it's a Dun Edwards color called Fine Grain for the walls and White Picket Fence for the ceiling with a velvet sheen. It's a warm tone that seems to go really well with gray. But before you go grab a gallon and start painting, give me a call because you really want the paint to complement everything from the existing flooring to the grout. The benefits of a fresh coat of paint go beyond just broadening buyer appeal. Neutral colors have a way of making rooms feel peaceful, more spacious and light filled, enhancing the home's natural beauty. They can also minimize the appearance of any imperfections or dated features, helping to create a more polished, move in ready look that today's buyers appreciate. If you think you do need to repaint, take it on a room by room basis. There may be rooms that just need a little bit of touch up while others may need a full coat of paint. This update is not just about aesthetics, it's a practical move that signals to buyers that the home has been well, well cared for. It's an investment in creating a welcoming, attractive environment that stands out in the market. Encouraging potential buyers to imagine their future in the home is a powerful selling point and fresh looking walls is a cost-effective way to achieve this. Let's move on to tip number six. Elevating your home's curb appeal is all about creating that 
stellar first impression without breaking the bank. This can cost zero to $3,000, but there's a lot you could do for under $500. It's the little details and tweaks that can make potential buyers take a second glance or even stop for a closer look. Imagine a front yard and porch that are not just neat and inviting, but also radiate charm under the soft glow of a well-placed lighting. It's about setting the stage for what's inside, giving a hint of the care and attention you've invested in your home. You can consider upgrading with new house numbers, a modern mailbox, stylish porch lights, welcoming plan turns and a fresh doormat. These things might seem small individually, but together they weave this narrative of a loved and meticulously cared for home, possibly tipping the scales for someone on the fence about taking a deeper dive. And don't overlook the basics either. Keeping the lawn manicured, introducing a splash of color with some seasonal flowers and ensuring the driveway and walkways are clean and inviting can transform your home's exterior. Interior. These things are surprisingly simple and budget friendly, yet they play a crucial role in making your home stand out. Remember, the curb appeal is not just about beauty, it's a visual handshake, if you will, the first step in welcoming potential buyers into what could be their new home. In the world of home selling, you really don't get a second chance to make a first impression. So making it count right from the curb is crucial. Tip number seven is to consider small yet powerful enhancements that can transform your space without draining your wallet. Again, it's amazing what you could do for less than $500. Swapping outdated light fixtures, refreshing cabinet knobs, and updating shower heads and faucets can make a surprisingly significant difference in your home's overall vibe. It's about those little touches that collectively brighten and modernize your space, offering a fresh perspective to potential buyers. Take a leisurely walk through each room of your home with a critical eye, jotting down any areas that could benefit from a mini makeover. But don't just stop at fixtures. Think about any element that could elevate your home's appeal. Maybe it's time Time to give that well-loved sofa a new lease on life with a crisp white slip cover or maybe adding a fresh pot of succulents on the dining table could inject a little bit of life and color into the room. Tip number eight is to assign every room and yes even those quirky little nooks a definitive role. This can cost zero dollars if you use things that you have or you may want to pick up a few items from Amazon or home goods for less than three hundred dollars. Where do we start? Well, do you have a spare room that's become kind of a catch-all from everything from exercise gear to office supplies? Or maybe there's that odd corner of your home you've never really figured out how to use. This is your opportunity to bring purpose and clarity to those spaces. The golden rule here is simplicity. Each area should serve a singular clear purpose evident in how it's furnished and arranged. Transform that multi-purpose spare room into to a dedicated guest bedroom, a home office, or a fitness area that resists the temptation to make it a jack of all trades. And if the home has an awkward nook, you could turn it into a cozy reading spot or maybe a compact home office or a display area for your favorite art or plants. It's about creating an inviting, functional environment where every square inch serves a purpose, making your home more relatable and attractive. And tip number nine, get every surface of the home sparkling clean. I've been in a lot of houses and the importance of a thorough, deep clean cannot be overstated. My rule with the inside is to start with the ceiling and end with the floors. You wanna dust the top of your ceiling fans, wipe down the walls and the trim around the doors and the windows and the baseboards. Buyers are snoopy and they'll open all the cabinets and drawers in the kitchen and bathrooms. So it's a good idea to vacuum and dust out the cabinets. You'll wanna clean areas that usually don't get scrubbed to like the top and behind of the refrigerator, um, tile grout, and the tracks of windows or sliding glass doors. And if there's carpet in the home, you may want to get the carpet cleaned and stretched. And don't neglect deep cleaning the outdoor space too. Clear the eaves and porches of any spider webs or wasp nests. Be careful clearing wasp nests. And think about 
pressure washing the exterior walls of the home, walkways, and the driveway. This could cost you anywhere from $150 if you purchase the cleaning supplies and rent a carpet cleaner and pressure washer and do the work yourself or if you decide to hire a cleaning service to do a deep clean and someone to clean the windows and the gutters and pressure wash outside, it may cost you around $500 to $1,000 and it'll be done in a day. Preparing your home for sale doesn't have to be expensive. With some elbow grease and creativity, you can significantly enhance your home's appeal and potentially speed up the selling process. If you're looking for a dedicated professional to guide you through selling your home, Home in Sacramento County, I'm here to help. Remember, Jim and I specialize in assisting trustees and executors and administrators of inherited property. Feel free to reach out and let's get your home sold. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.